to my 31 week pregnancy update. This week the baby is about the length of a leek, leeks, whatever. Um, that's pretty fitting because I actually made potato and leek soup today. So yeah, that's about the length of the baby. And um, unlike last week when I had so much to talk about, this week I don't. But anyone who knows me knows that I can ramble on for a good amount of time about pretty much anything. So yeah, <laughs> we'll see how long this video turns out to be. Um, first off, symptoms. I don't really have anything that I didn't have last week. Um, my pinched nerve is back and it's been really bad today. I actually like couldn't find any position to sit or lie down or stand for that matter that didn't hurt so I had a hard time concentrating on my studies so yeah <laughs> that's definitely kind of affecting my everyday life but it's it's fine it could be way worse so I shouldn't complain but yeah that's the I guess the, the new symptom for this week compared to last week my weight has gone up, of course, a bit since last time we talked about it. I am now at 61.7 kilos, which is 136 pounds. And that means that I'm up about 10.7 kilos, which is uh, about 23.5 pounds, I think, um, according to Google's um, con converter, th converter thing. Um, and yeah, I'm probably going to go over the... Uh, the recommended like 12 to 15 kilos that you should gain um, during pregnancy but I hope that I don't go over it way too much um, I'm pretty happy with the weight gain and I am not eating super healthy so I could definitely be doing better and that would probably help with the weight as well so I'm gonna try but it's it's hard I feel sorry for myself a lot of the time and that usually turns into comfort eating so yeah not the best, but I don't think I'm very like unique in that matter, especially being pregnant. I actually haven't made any pregnancy or baby buys this week and I haven't finished any um, knitting or crocheting projects either, so I don't have anything to show you, anything fun. Um, and I don't really have any plans to do more baby buys or pregnancy buys for that matter, because I don't know, we have most of the things we need. Um, pretty much everything we need for Theo that we didn't already have from Tyrion's um, like pregnancy and, and young life or whatever <laughs> um, we've already bought now so yeah there probably won't be much more buys um, what I am thinking about is a going home outfit I don't think it's a very big thing here I think it's kind of an American thing or I'm just completely lost but <laughs> I've only um, kind of seen about it or heard about it in in American or maybe Australian um, pregnancy updates and vlogs and stuff but I think it's kind of a cute idea the tricky part is of course you don't know how big your baby is going to be when it's born um, and I mean with Tyrion if we had gotten a going home outfit for him it would not have fit because he was in in preemie clothes for a while so I don't know, but I might be buying something like that just because it's a fun, fun thing, I think. And then I'm pretty much on to the like main thing that I wanted to talk about today and the last thing that I'm going to talk about, and that is the hospital bag. That's the topic for today. I didn't have a hospital bag when I gave birth to Tyrion because he was so early, I hadn't even packed one. And even if I had had one packed, I don't think we would have brought it because we didn't think that we were about to give birth <laughs> to have a baby we went to the hospital for a checkup and then we didn't get to leave because I was in active labor <laughs> um, so I this time kind of want to pack it early I think I'm gonna start packing this week um, since Tyrion was born at 34 weeks kind of feel like we probably like <laughs> need to start early um, and I am not sure what to pack because Obviously I have some ideas. I've watched very <laughs> many like uh, pregnancy updates and what's in my hospital bag videos and stuff and that's very fun. Uh, but I wanted to get your suggestions as well because I feel like everyone says different things of what they actually used, what they actually needed and I don't want to pack too much. Um, I also don't have like a lot of room in my hospital bag. I decided to use the nursing bag that I showed you last week that I just got. Um, and the things that I've already like decided that I do need to bring are 
the camera obviously and other electronics for the camera like the charger and uh, the computer so that I can edit the vlog afterwards and all that kind of stuff um, so as a vlogger that's very important and also like cell phone chargers and all that stuff um, I do need some like cozy clothes for myself obviously but I don't think I'm gonna bring a lot for the baby maybe the the going home outfit as I, as I talked about Wow, I'm talking fast <sighs> I don't know what happened I just kind of sped up I don't know it's an interesting topic I guess I'm excited <sighs> um, but yeah, like I said, I don't think I'm gonna bring a lot of stuff for Theo because as far as I remember the hospital kind of provides pretty much everything as long as you are at the hospital. Now we were in the NICU for the most for most of the time. Michael and I slept at the like unit where you are when you have given birth for a couple of days because they didn't have beds for us at the NICU. So Tyrion was at the NICU and we were not. But then we went to him when they did have beds um, and then we were there. So I'm not exactly sure what they uh, provide for you at the like normal <laughs> place where you where you stay if you don't have to go to the NICU. But I think they provide like diapers and if you need creams or whatever, all that stuff. Um, they do have pumps and that stuff too. So I'm gonna try to not overpack for a baby. Um, but what do I need for myself though? I mean, I'm probably gonna bring my makeup bag just because we'll be filming and if if I feel like I can, if I'm not too uh, like distracted by labor and everything I will put on some makeup but it all depends on what time of day everything starts to but I don't know I don't know if I should bring like shampoo and conditioner and stuff because I don't know how long we'll be staying at the hospital hopefully if everything goes well we'll only be staying for like a day maybe two days um, or I will Theo and I will Michael will go home to Tyrion um, so I don't know if I'm only there for one or two days I feel like it's just kind of an extra hassle to bring shower stuff but I don't know so yeah that's kind of what I want to task you with this week um, give me some suggestions in the comments either of, of what you actually used or brought but didn't use when you went to the hospital to give birth if you have um, or um, videos or like home websites um, of uh, tips for what to bring and that's it for everything I wanted to talk about today so I guess all that's left is to look at the baby belly so I wasn't very smart today I'm wearing a black shirt so <laughs> you probably can't really tell anything also by the way these pants are definitely coming with us to the hospital because they are the comfiest pants that I own and they're awesome <laughs> but anyway <laughs> here's the belly from the front I just look kind of wide <laughs> And from the side, I guess you can see a little bit, but yeah, not the best shirt to show this in. And the other side. And that's going to be it. So please like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you want to see more of our daily vlogs. And we will see you tomorrow. Hey, doll.